Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at this really cool bench made right here. Very attractive knife. Going to give a little review of it. It is a uh, bench made 890 torrent, lightning fast, sporting a um, 154cm steel. And if you'd like to hear more about this knife, just check out the video. Okay, gents, uh, welcome back to the Fortified Castle. And uh, I'd like to um, thank and welcome all of my viewers. And also thank my foreign viewers. Bonjour, Provavet, Guten Tag, Hola, Ciao, and Konnichiwa. And uh, today we're going to be looking at this really nice knife. So this is a Benchmade Taurus uh, Torrent. It is a model 890 and it has been discontinued by Benchmade, but you can still uh, get this knife. So I did a little search. I think um, Blade HQ and uh, Knife Center are among the couple that I found that still have these in, uh, available. And um, at the prices I saw, uh, you know, I saw $148 uh, on... Um, Blade HQ for this. It's a steel. So I've had this knife since uh, 2014. It is uh, kind of a gents knife. If you look at that, look at those smooth lines through here. Look at that. And everything is just really smooth. Nice smooth corners here. Nice thumb notch right there. It is a uh, assisted look opening. So all you have to do is put a a little bit of pressure on that bam and it just goes out you notice I didn't have to flick it so um, just a little bit of movement and man she pops out there this is a big blade overall this knife is four and five eighths inches so it's a pretty good sized knife but um, doesn't really look like it in my hand I have medium hands and fits very comfortably um, right away, I think you'll notice that it is a uh, tip uh, down carry. So when you have the this uh, pop pocket clip in the pocket, the blade's going to face down like that. Uh, that's not my favorite. I like a tip up, but you know, guys like what they like, and uh, that's fine if you like to um, carry it like this. Uh, the disadvantage of this knife is. You cannot change the uh, clip. So um, I've never noticed that kind of, you know, I feel it. It doesn't really create a hot spot. I have carried this knife and I have used it. You can probably, if you look hard, you can see some wear on there. But um, especially like on the back. But um this knife has really worn well. It's a liner lock. You can see that right there. Really good um, lock up. Uh, so this is stainless steel here. And 154 cm is a stainless steel. So you really don't need a, um, a, uh, a liner there for the liner lock. Because you're not dealing with a... Um, a harder steel than what's what the liner is and so you don't have any blade lock in here um, and that's just fine you know uh, it's a hundred percent every time it comes out um, this is g10 you can see it's very attractive it's also slick so uh, i bought this i believe i bought this in 2014 and um in 2021, I believe it was, Benchmade discontinued this. But like I said, you still can find it in a couple places um, from retail. 
you definitely could find it uh, on the secondary market. And it'd probably be cheaper to buy it retail than get it on the secondary market. Really nice looking knife. I like this right here. That's a nice little design. It's integrated. If you look down in here, you can see that the backstop is one solid piece of stainless steel. So that's a design cut into the stainless steel. Really nice. You can feel it. It's, it's kind of like jimping, but it's very smooth. It's almost like ball bearings here is what it feels like. And a really nice knife. Um, I, I love that design. Uh, it's basically a drop point. You have a drop point blade there with an awesome swedge. Look at the edge on that. Perfect edge. Really nice. And, you know, I told her I used it. So there's a few nicks in here. This is a Steigerwalt design. 154CM. So 154CM, uh, um, there's two kind of steels that, that carry that name. One is CPM 154. The other is uh, 154CM. And um, the CPM is a uh, uh, space age metal particle steel. Uh, the 154 CM is not, it's just a stainless steel. Um, so this steel is very similar to 440, and it was an improvement over 440, is why they developed it. It's an older steel, actually developed in 1959. And it's for, um, they initially developed it for um, um, aircraft engines. So uh, aircraft engines, they burn at a, a very high temperature above 350 degrees. And the current tool steels, 82100, wasn't really sufficient for the ball bearings they needed. So they needed a new steel. And uh, what Crucible did is they... Um, uh, added uh, Molly B. Denim at a very high rate, 0.4% uh, Molly B. Denim in this steel. And uh, what that allows you to do is you can, um, there's kind of an inverse reaction with steel when you're talking about chrome and carbon. So as you increase um, chromium in steel to get corrosion resistance and hardness, the, the, um, the carbon content goes down and so it's hard to get the carbon content up and the um, um, chromium content up in equal amounts to create a very hard steel uh, because it it's, has to do with the way that they uh, chemically react to one another so adding molly b denim to it allows you to get a high um, chromium and high carbon content in the steel and so it uh, makes this steel harder than normal 440, and the Molly B. Denim makes it more uh, stainless. So it gives it greater uh, resistance to pitting, but at the same token, it doesn't really increase the uh, toughness of the steel. Um, but this is a good steel. Um, I really like it. It's one of my favorites. It's uh, easy to sharpen, and it holds an edge for... Uh, a lot longer than regular 440 and um, ATS 34 is the same type of steel uh, Japan's ATS 34 it's an exact copy of, of uh, 154cm and so pretty good steel if you can get a hold of it I think you'd like it I know it's one of my favorites and uh, anyhow that's my Benchmade 890 Torrent Really nice knife. It was one of the first upscale knives that I ever bought. And I hope you enjoyed the video. hope you found it informative. And if you'd like more content like this, hey, go ahead and subscribe. You know, won't hurt you. I promise. Have a great day, guys, and thanks again.